Sure, in life, we often face a sea of turbulent emotions and feel lost in the chaos of negative thoughts. But believe that the ancient wisdom of Stoicism can help us find a path out of these dark times. As Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Today, let's dive into these profound words, recognize our own power, and find strength. This powerful quote is a starting point for a journey that will change your life. Join us as we explore seven lessons from Stoicism, lessons that are not just knowledge, but a way of life, with a courageous heart and a steady mind. These lessons will guide you on how to manage your emotions and overcome life's challenges. Let's embrace peace in our lives by letting go of negative thoughts with Stoicism, guiding you to find peace within. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the power you have within yourself. Knowing what you can control. Have you ever found yourself in a storm, but not the kind with rain and thunder, but the storms of life? Unexpected events, disappointments, or sudden changes? The dichotomy of control is a lesson from the Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece and Rome who felt like a lifeline in these storms. Think about this, you're planning to host an outdoor event, but it starts to rain at the last minute. No matter how much you want to, you can't control the weather, but how you feel about the rain is entirely up to you. You can be upset and angry, or you can find ways to work around it. For example, you could move the event indoors or embrace the opportunity for rain and change your plans. A Stoic philosopher named Epictetus, who was born a slave and became one of the most important thinkers of his time, said, Some things are within our control, while others are not. Seems simple, right? But there's a profound wisdom found in that simplicity. It has the power to change our lives. We face many situations every day. Some things we can change, like the books we read, the people we associate with, and our daily routines. But there are many things we can't control, like global events, other people's actions, the passage of time, and yes, even the weather. This is where things get interesting. Stoic philosophers argued that how we interpret and react to external events determines our level of happiness. Our emotions are not caused by the events themselves, but by how we think about them. Do you remember a time you faced adversity? Maybe you didn't get the job you wanted. At that moment, things seemed terrible. But after some time, you might have realized it was actually a blessing in disguise, leading you to a better opportunity or personal growth. How do we work this out? Ask yourself, is this something I can control? If the answer is yes, then do something about it. If the answer is no, then that's an opportunity for you to accept it and roll with the punches. We can free ourselves from unnecessary suffering by truly understanding and accepting this principle. Knowing that we can't control the wind, but we can adjust our sails, allows us to navigate life calmly. The dichotomy of control is a beacon of light in a world that often feels out of control. It reminds us to put our energy where it matters most and enjoy the peace that comes from knowing that some things are beyond our control. Think before you act. Everyone today values speed and instant gratification, so the art of contemplation might have become a thing of the past. Taking the time to think and pause can be our saving grace in a world that demands fast action. Think about how many decisions we face, both big and small, from choosing a meal at a restaurant to choosing a career path. There are many options, but the issue isn't the scale of the choices, it's how we approach them. For example, consider reading a text message that makes you feel something. Someone at work might be questioning your work, or a friend might make a casual comment. Your first thought might be to defend yourself or get angry. You might jump right into that emotional whirlwind. But what if you took a step back? Your emotions aren't suppressed when you give yourself that brief pause. They're just given a chance to breathe and be understood. Contemplation isn't about avoidance or accepting our thoughts and feelings without doing anything. It's about being present with them. It's about asking deeper questions like, why does this comment make me feel so hurt? Is my current emotion being influenced by an underlying belief or experience I have? Is my first reaction based on what's happening right now or things that have happened in the past? Thinking about what you're about to say before you say it is a way to build empathy by giving yourself time. We also give ourselves the opportunity to see things from the other person's perspective. 
that coworker or friend might have had a rough day and not realize the weight of what they're saying. When we think about things, we help ourselves and those around us understand them better. This habit can be so important in our relationships. How many misunderstandings could we avoid if we stopped to think before speaking? How many bridges could be built instead of destroyed? We find clarity, composure, and connection when we take the time to think. Plus, the ability to stop and think is incredibly useful in a professional setting. People often respect and follow leaders who think through their choices before making them. People think they are thoughtful, calm, and smart. Most of their choices are rooted in deep thought. Ultimately, contemplation is a way to rebel against a world that often seems to be moving at breakneck speed. It's a quiet, but powerful way to say, I won't be swept away by the current of instant gratification. Making this promise means we take care of ourselves, our happiness, we treat others well, and we think before we act. It's not just a habit, it's a philosophy, a way of life that values depth over breadth, understanding over impulsiveness, and lasting connections over fleeting relationships. It's an internal journey that has a profound impact on the external world. It affects not only how we react, but how our lives are interconnected. Learning to be objective. For someone living in a world full of emotion, the idea of practicing objectivity can seem foreign, but let's examine the true meaning and its power to change things. Objectivity is not about hiding your feelings or being uncaring about what's happening around you. It's about finding peace in the midst of the storm. Imagine not feeling overwhelmed by events, circumstances, or even your own emotions. Think about the last movie that truly captivated your attention. There were moments where things were tense, exciting, and maybe even sad. You knew it was just a movie. Even with interest in the story, you weren't rushing to help the hero or cheer for the villain as if their problems were real. While still feeling emotions, you could maintain a sense of detachment. A similar approach to life is encouraged by Stoics. It's about recognizing your emotions rise and fall without letting them control you. Think of being cut off in traffic. It's natural to feel anger or frustration. To be objective, you can practice not letting those emotions take over by acknowledging them without judgment and letting them pass like clouds in the sky. This doesn't mean you become passive or apathetic. It just means you have more control over your emotional responses. Instead of reacting impulsively in a difficult situation, you can step back and consider your options. If you can think clearly, you can avoid getting caught up in the heat of the moment and make better decisions and take positive action. Objectivity also involves how we react to external events outside our control. It's natural to feel emotional when a global crisis happens or when loved ones are struggling. We can choose to respond with calmness and grace instead of giving in to despair or feeling hopeless. If you practice objectivity, this doesn't mean you become cold or uncaring. It just means that even in the face of unavoidable storms in life, we maintain a sense of inner peace. Objectivity, in a way, is like an anchor that helps us stay grounded when life gets rough. It empowers us to approach problems with strength and grace. It gives us the strength and stability to be a source of strength for ourselves and those around us. And it reminds us that while emotions are a normal part of being human, we have the power to rise above them and maintain calmness in the midst of the storm. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons helpful, it's a sign that you are engaged and want to learn. Sometimes in life, we might feel lost or directionless, and seeking knowledge and encouragement from sources like this video can help us find our way. So, if you feel this video has added value to your life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like below. In doing so, we build a community of learning and sharing, helping each of us to become stronger and more insightful in our daily lives. Accepting that everything changes. Change is the only constant in life. Everything around us is changing, from the seasons changing with the months to the cells that make up our bodies, constantly being replaced with new ones. Even though change is always happening, many of us still don't want it. There's a fear of the unknown that makes us cling to what we know and feel safe with. On the other hand, Stoics encourage us to embrace change as a necessary part of life, not just accepting it, but recognizing it. 
realizing that everything changes doesn't mean fear or anxiety. It means encouragement for gratitude and presence. Think for a moment that everything in your life was permanent. That the people you love would never leave. That your current circumstances would never change. And that every moment of joy, as well as every moment of pain, would last forever. At first, this may sound good, but it would only lead to complacency and stagnation. Recognizing how everything changes is what gives life color, depth, and speed. It reminds us that every moment, experience, and relationship is precious and only exists for a short time. It urges us to savor the beauty of a sunset, laugh with friends, and show love to those we care about, because we never know when it might be our last chance. The difficulties and setbacks we encounter are also part of the stoic understanding of impermanence. It's easy to feel defeated and overwhelmed when we go through tough times. We can find comfort knowing that this too shall pass. If we accept that everything changes, just like storm clouds eventually clear, so will our problems and issues. This is a reminder that we can weather the storms of life and emerge stronger on the other side. So how do we accept impermanence in our actual lives? It starts with a shift in how you view things. We don't have to fight against change. We can learn to flow with it like a winding river as it makes its way. We can cultivate a sense of detachment from material possessions and external circumstances, knowing they are temporary, and we can be grateful for the lessons and opportunities that come with each turn in our journey. Be open to the idea that everything will change. Like dancing with life, you should fully immerse yourself in its ever-changing rhythm and find joy and meaning in every new moment. Practice Gratitude Gratitude is a simple yet powerful practice that can change how we see the world. It's about noticing and appreciating the good things in our lives, even when things are tough. Gratitude shifts our attention from what's missing to what's present, from what's wrong to what's right. Stoic philosophy recognizes the power of gratitude as a means to inner peace and contentment. From their perspective, we can find happiness in the present moment by acknowledging the good things we have. But how do we practice gratitude? And why is it so important? Gratitude isn't just for big acts of kindness or extraordinary events. It can be found in the simple pleasures of life, like the feeling of the sun on your face, the laughter of a child, and the aroma of a favorite meal. It's about enjoying these small things and recognizing their significance. Stoics actually encourage us to consider the fleeting nature of these pleasures by imagining their loss. Imagine for a moment that you were unable to feel the warmth of the sun or hear the laughter of your loved ones. How much more precious would those memories become? This practice of negative visualization isn't meant to make us sad. It's meant to make us more appreciative of the present. It's a reminder that the little things we often take for granted are actually very valuable gifts. The power of gratitude can also change how we deal with hardship. It's easy to succumb to negativity and despair when we face challenges, but by practicing gratitude, we can become stronger and find hope even when things are difficult. For example, you might still be grateful for the support of loved ones, the care of medical professionals, and the opportunity for healing even if you are ill. By focusing on what you are grateful for, you can find strength and happiness even when things are tough. So, how do we practice gratitude in our daily lives? To begin, just think about what you want to do. Take some time each day to reflect on what you are grateful for. It could be like journaling, a mental list, or a conversation with a friend. As you practice gratitude, try to be specific. For example, instead of just saying I am grateful for my family, think about the specific things or moments that make you grateful for them. These actions can become habits that shift how you view things, making you happier and more content with your life. Building Resilience the ability to bounce back from adversity, adapt to change, and persevere in the face of difficulty is called resilience. This trait can be the difference between giving up in the face of life's challenges and becoming stronger than ever before to deal with the inevitable ups and downs of life. Stoics understood the value of fortitude. They believed that we can face problems with courage and grace if we tap into our inner strength and stability. But how do we build resilience in our actual lives? A change in thinking is the first step. We don't have to view problems as obstacles. 
we can view them as opportunities to learn and grow. When facing a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I come out stronger as a result? By reframing problems in this way, you give yourself the power to face them with determination and strength. The ability to manage stress and difficult emotions is another important component of resilience. To develop inner calm and emotional balance, Stoics encourage practices like mindfulness and meditation. By engaging in these, you can stay calm and focused in the face of life storms. This will help you make sound decisions and take the right actions. Resilience also means being able to cope with change and uncertainty. Life is constantly changing, and our plans and goals need to change with it. Stoics argue that we shouldn't cling to a specific outcome or resist change. Instead, they said, we should be open to the ups and downs of our journey. We can stay true to our core values and flow with the currents of life. We can face uncertainty with confidence instead of fear because we have the ability to adapt. Last but not least, community and connection provide resilience. Having a network of friends, family, or mentors who are there to support and guide you when things get tough is a powerful way to build resilience. Speaking about your problems and asking for help when you need it is a vital part of becoming resilient. Essentially, developing the inner resources to deal with adversity is what resilience is all about. When you are resilient, you can face the storms of life with courage and grace, knowing you have the strength to get through anything and emerge from it stronger than before. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons helpful, it's a sign that you are engaged and want to learn. Sometimes in life, we might feel lost or directionless, and seeking knowledge and encouragement from sources like this video can help us find our way. So, if you feel this video has added value to your life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like below. In doing so, we build a community of learning and sharing, helping each of us to become stronger and more insightful in our daily lives. Live in alignment with your values. To live in alignment with your values, you have to make decisions and choices that reflect what matters most to you. It requires taking the time to fully understand your core values and make a commitment to living by them in all areas of your life. Stoics believe that we can find true happiness and inner peace by living in alignment with our values. But how do we figure out what our values are and what can we do to live in alignment with them? First, you need to figure out what your core values are. These are the ideas and beliefs that will guide your life and help you decide what is most important to you. They can be any values that are significant to you, such as honesty, integrity, strength, or kindness. Take some time to think about yourself and figure out what matters to you. Think about the times and events in your life when you felt the happiest and most fulfilled. These can help you figure out what your core values are. Once you know what your values are, you should try to make sure your decisions and actions are aligned with them. This means making choices that are consistent with your values, even when they are difficult or inconvenient. For example, if you value honesty, try to be truthful with everyone, even when lying might be easier. Seeking ways to help others and being kind in your daily life is important if you value compassion. Self-awareness and accountability are also important for living in alignment with your values. Regularly examine your actions and decisions to see if they are consistent with your values. If you find that your actions are no longer aligned with your beliefs, you need to take responsibility and make an effort to realign them. Remember that living a life in alignment with your values is an ongoing process. As you change and grow, you must continually reflect on yourself and make adjustments. Be true to yourself, and happiness will follow when you live in alignment with your values. Happy and peaceful people often make decisions that make them happy, even when they face problems and difficulties. Ultimately, Stoic philosophy offers you timeless wisdom and practical advice on how to manage your emotions and navigate life's challenges to find inner peace and happiness. In a world where emotions can feel like raging waves, you can understand what you can control, think before you act, practice objectivity, accept that everything changes, practice gratitude, build your resilience, and live a life in alignment with your values. Don't forget that you shouldn't expect to learn these lessons overnight. They need to be practiced and thought about constantly. However, 
By applying Stoic principles to your daily life, you can start to change your relationship with yourself and the world around you. But don't just sit there, this is the meaning of practicing objectivity, engaging deeply in life and feeling all of its emotions, but also knowing when to be in the theater of your mind and observe without getting caught up in the action. In today's oversaturated world, this approach becomes a lifeline. We get so much news and updates and notifications each day. If we are intensely feeling each piece of information, we will always feel exhausted. Objectivity is a buffer to help you deal with the world more steadily and balanced. It's also important in relationships with others. There are times when arguments and heated conversations happen to all of us. When this occurs, being able to maintain a neutral attitude can make the difference between a productive conversation and one that hurts both parties. We can listen better to feedback instead of reacting and handle disagreements with understanding and kindness. In doing this, self-awareness is the first step to cultivating calmness. The space between the stimulus and the response is created by regularly checking in with ourselves, recognizing our emotional triggers, and understanding our patterns. That space gives us the freedom to choose how we respond and act with intention instead of impulsivity. And even though objectivity might sound like detaching from the pleasures and joys of life, it actually makes them better. We can fully engage in the journey and enjoy each moment without constantly fearing loss or change. If we are less attached to outcomes, seeking balance in a world of constant change is the goal of objectivity. It's the map to inner peace and helps us navigate the many terrains of life gracefully. In doing so, we not only make our own lives better, but we help those around us feel calmer and more at peace. Ask yourself, will this matter in five years? There will be times in life when our patience, strength, and perspective are tested. Our days are filled with numerous situations that evoke a variety of emotions, from small annoyances like spilled coffee to bigger challenges like arguments with loved ones. We have a tendency to get caught up in our emotions when we're in the thick of it. You might feel like the world is ending when you get late feedback, receive a negative review, or forget an important anniversary. Will this matter in five years is a powerful question that can help us see things more clearly. This simple but profound question takes us into the future while simultaneously bringing us back to the present. Suddenly, that heated argument or missed opportunity looks very different. Most of what we worry about now will be minor details in the larger story of our lives that we won't even remember. Think about the problems and stresses you had five years ago. How many of them still hold true? How many were eclipsed by new memories, experiences, and things you've learned? This awareness can be both humbling and liberating. Using this question as a regular guide helps us figure out what truly matters to us. It helps us differentiate between short-term issues and lasting long-term impact. A bad day at work may seem like a huge deal in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just one day in a career spanning decades. This perspective also makes one more resilient. Reminding ourselves of the big picture can help us work through challenges and find solutions. When we face difficulties, we don't have to get stuck in the problem at hand. Instead, we can plan for change and move forward, knowing that time often brings clarity and answers. But it doesn't just make our worries seem less important. This question also gets us thinking about what's important. Investing in relationships, personal growth, and long-lasting experiences matter if we want to make our lives and choices count in the long run. The question, will this matter in five years, helps us live a life of meaning, perspective, and peace. Even though our world is so focused on the now and the here, we can handle the ups and downs of life gracefully by regularly revisiting this question. This will help us focus our energy and attention on what truly matters. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons helpful, it's a sign that you are engaged and want to learn. Sometimes in life, we might feel lost or directionless, and seeking knowledge and encouragement from sources like this video can help us find our way. So, if you feel this video has added value to your life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like below. In doing so, we build a community of learning and sharing, helping each of us to become stronger and more insightful in our daily lives. Keeping a Stoic Journal
many people from different cultures and eras have praised journaling not only as a way to track events, but also as a way to reflect, grow, and better understand oneself. Focusing on self-awareness and personal growth, Stoics were familiar with this type of practice. A Stoic journal isn't just a record of what you did each day. It's a place to think, talk to yourself, and analyze your emotions, choices, and reactions as events are compared to personal values and beliefs. It's where the outside world and the inner world meet. Imagine ending your day by reflecting on not only what happened, but also how you responded. What about a certain comment that made you angry? What made you feel so happy while doing something mundane? We can start to understand the patterns in our mind by breaking down a day. We see clearly what makes us feel a certain way, what guides our choices, and how daily habits shape our lives. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, had a journal that today is called Meditations. It wasn't intended for publication. It was a private conversation, a place for him to guide himself, remind himself of Stoic principles, and use his wisdom to work through the difficulties in life. Through his writings, we can see a man grappling with emotions, responsibilities, and his place in the universe. To get something out of a Stoic journal, you don't have to be an emperor. Taking time to reflect is even more important in today's world, where there are so many distractions and a constant barrage of information. A daily check-in is a good way to stay grounded and understand when everything is going crazy. Over time, this practice can bring profound insights. You might see that certain situations always trigger you to feel stressed. This might lead you to address them or change how you view them. You might see that certain practices, like gratitude or mindfulness, help you feel better and improve your perspective. You can use the patterns that emerge as a guide for your own growth. Besides giving you ideas, a stoic journal makes you more accountable. You take responsibility for your actions, reactions, and choices. When you promise yourself to reflect daily, it becomes a mirror that effectively reflects not just your external life but your internal life as well. An effective way to apply the ideas of stoicism to your daily life is to keep a stoic journal. It's a way to learn about yourself, become a better you, and take control of your life. You start the journey of understanding your own wins, adjusting your actions according to your values and principles, and living a more purposeful and meaningful life. Through journaling, we become accountable for how we act and what we choose to do. When you repeat the same mistake over and over again, it's harder to ignore. Instead, we're asked to learn, change, and grow. Keeping a stoic journal is like having a wise friend by your side, someone who is always there to listen, help, and guide you. It's a commitment to self-improvement, understanding, living a life aligned with your values and principles, and growing as a human being. Seeing problems as opportunities to learn. There are so many problems in the world, from small hurdles to large-scale changes on a global scale. Problems are an unavoidable part of being human. It would be challenging to address these problems, but what if we saw them as opportunities? Stoics have a very effective way of looking at problems. They believe that while we can't always control the events that happen to us, we can control how we view them and how we react to them. When you shift your perspective, problems stop being obstacles and start becoming lessons. This idea is most clearly encapsulated in a quote from the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, what stands in the way becomes the way. Take the example of a river flowing into a rock. The river doesn't stop. The river finds its way around it either by wearing the rock down over time or by creating a new path. The rock, at first, seems like an obstacle, but it changes the course of the river. Similarly, problems in life can change our course and often lead to outcomes we wouldn't have expected. Losing a job initially might seem devastating, but it can also lead to a new career path, the opportunity to learn new skills, or even the chance to start your own business. A failed relationship might help you grow and create deeper, more meaningful connections later on. This stoic perspective makes one more resilient. When we see problems as opportunities to learn, grow, and evolve, we become more flexible and willing to face problems head on. What can I learn from this? How can this experience help me become a better person, become the questions we ask instead of, why is this happening to me? 
Of course, this doesn't mean we should seek out problems or ignore real issues. It means recognizing that every problem has a solution, an opportunity to do things better. Nurturing this seed with a positive attitude, patience, and perseverance can help us turn problems into opportunities for intellectual and personal growth. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons helpful, it's a sign that you are engaged and want to learn. Sometimes in life, we might feel lost or directionless, and seeking knowledge and encouragement from sources like this video can help us find our way. So, if you feel this video has added value to your life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like below. In doing so, we build a community of learning and sharing, helping each of us to become stronger and more insightful in our daily lives. Expressing Gratitude Gratitude is like a golden thread running through the intricate web of human emotions. It brings us moments of joy, contentment, and new perspectives. Stoics believed in the intentional practice of gratitude, making it a daily ritual to anchor ourselves to the present and be grateful for the blessings in our lives. While it is an emotion that can arise naturally, gratitude is more than simply saying thank you. It's a deep appreciation for all the people, events, and forces that have made our lives better. It's about seeing the beauty in the everyday, the lessons and problems, and the fact that everything is temporary, making it even more precious. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This is precisely what gratitude is about. It's about sinking into the present moment and cherishing each experience and interaction. It's about focusing on the small things we often take for granted, the sun on a cold day, laughter with loved ones, a shared meal, or even the air we breathe. By taking a moment to notice and appreciate them, we can make these moments more beautiful and significant in our lives. Practicing gratitude can also help you resist the urge to focus on what you lack, on unmet desires, or on future anxieties. By focusing on what we have, instead of what we don't, we can cultivate contentment, lessen feelings of envy or resentment, and improve our overall well-being. You might wonder, how do I get better at practicing this? It can be as simple as writing down three things you are grateful for each morning or each evening. Over time, this practice can change how you view things, making you more open to the good in life and stronger when facing problems. Gratitude also empowers relationships. When we thank others for their kindness, support, or love, we strengthen relationships, foster mutual respect, and start a positive feedback loop of love and kindness. Gratitude acts as a gentle reminder of the abundance that exists in our lives. In a world that often values wealth, achievement, and wanting more, it's a call to savor the present, embrace life with open arms, and walk this path of life with gratitude in our hearts. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons helpful, it's a sign that you are engaged and want to learn. Sometimes in life, we might feel lost or directionless, and seeking knowledge and encouragement from sources like this video can help us find our way. So, if you feel this video has added value to your life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like below. In doing so, we build a community of learning and sharing, helping each of us to become stronger and more insightful in our daily lives. The stoic principles outlined in this video offer timeless wisdom for navigating life's challenges with resilience, clarity, and grace. From practicing objectivity to cherishing gratitude, each lesson provides valuable insights into cultivating a mindset that promotes inner peace and personal growth. Now, I want to hear from you. What have you learned from these Stoic lessons, and how do you plan to apply them to your own life? Share your insights in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and remember to continue striving for a life guided by wisdom and virtue.